Hi, what's up? My name is James Katz. This is CJFX Uganda. Of course, we are going to be providing you with uh, Forex content. Now, me, I started Forex in March this year. I haven't taken so much time. But I've learned a lot and I'm in position actually to teach what I know to you guys who are looking out something in Forex. Now, when it comes to analyzing the market, of course, you know, doing all this, it means you have done your research and you know what is forex you know what forex is all about so whatever that i'm going to talk about here just you know i'm addressing you who has done enough research and you know uh, something about forex so when i talk about candlestick candlesticks you know when i talk about um uh, chart patterns you know when i talk about trend lines you know when i talk about demand and supply zones Ah, you are in position to know all of that. So here, basically, I'm going to give you the simplest way of analyzing the market, analyzing charts, okay? In the simplest way of analyzing charts, because this is what I also do. So before we go into the video, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. And of course, this video, if, if it is making sense to you, Hit the like button so that it is recommended to other members like you. So let's go into the video. Now, this is Euro USD. If I'm to analyze this, I will start with a weekly time frame. Now, on weekly time frame, when you come on weekly time frame, you can see that the market is bearish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my trend lines. Let me delete these ones. I'm going to draw my trend lines, smooth ones, touching swing highs and then swing lows. Okay, so I'm having that trend line right there. And I can also draw another one right here. Of course, let me pass it over here. Okay, touching these swing lows. Okay, all right. Now, I can also, after there, then I identify the demand zones. Demand zones, these ones are basically located in, uh, they, they are located in order blocks, okay? Now, when I zoom in right in this place here, I have order blocks here, and I can probably get my rectangle tool, and I draw this rectangle right there, and I stretch it all the way to this point. Okay, I stretch it all the way to this point. So, this is my weekly time frame and it is bearish. So, I'm going to move to the daily time frame. Now, this is done right here. This is done. I've, I've, I've finished to now to analyze this. I have my demand zone right here. It's a weekly demand zone. And still, the market is bearish. I've drawn my trend lines, meaning that the market probably moves in this form okay it is moving in this form it is moving in this form so as it is moving like this i am expecting on lower time frame this market to move and touch here mm? and then continues up why because this is my demand zone and the other thing i'm having a trend line here and i'm having the demand zone here okay so those are my confirmation points right there so let me let me move to the daily time frame moving on to the daily time frame i'll have my market already having touched the weekly demand zone so basically what i'm remaining with right here is the confirmations well to see whether the market is really going to move up and of course i told you that the confirmations here i'm having this trend line that i've drawn on a weekly on a weekly on a weekly chart and then i'm having my weekly demand zone right here so i'm expecting this market to just you know play around here and then it moves up to there because it is moving within okay so and on and on still uh identifying out some chart patterns i can see a cup a cup a cup pattern right there now this cup pattern is always in this form okay this cup pattern is always in this form like that it's like a cup 
okay it's, a, it's called a cup and handle actually it's called a cup and handle so i can see this cup and handle so meaning we are now remaining with just the handle that is going to be formed right in this area as it is moving up it's gonna be it's gonna be a handle okay so just like that so i'm expecting that move right there because as i said i'm having my demand zone weekly demand zone and i'm having my trend line right there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move to four hour time frame and i see how this market is playing out now on a four hour time frame i can see the market is really doing great because it has touched the demand zone the weekly demand zone and we are having a double touch okay we're having a double touch right there so since we are having our confirmations right there like i said i'm expecting the market really to move up because i'm having so far three confirmations the weekly demand zone right there and still my trend line right down there and still uh according to the chart pattern right there i'm expecting the handle of that cup uh, chart pattern to be formed as the market is moving down so and then looking at the candles right here on a on a four hour time frame um on a four hour time frame i can see um i'm having this bullish candle here i'm having this bullish candle right there that is shooting up and then apart from that i'm also having um this something like a raising an ascending triangle right there an indication that indeed the market is continuing up it is continuing up so what i'm going to do is i can book my long right here in this place by first of all maybe looking out for um looking out for any looking out for an order block in this area for our time frame or i can still move to lower time frame so that i can book my order right there but as i said i'm having my double touch right there in exact area the demand zone the weekly demand zone so moving on to one hour moving on to one hour i'm having that okay i'm having that one hour i can probably still draw some trend lines right there and i can probably draw some draw some trend lines right there okay and then from there um from there let me extend this this my trend line down here like this okay so having this touch here and i'm and i'm having this area right here that on a four hour time frame is representing a second touch into the demand the weekly demand zone okay so i'm expecting probably the market to move up okay i'm having this order block right here so just the market is playing within so meaning from here i can probably book my long okay right there and then i can just move a little bit up if i'm to use my fibonacci i'll have that exactly in this area here remember using fibonacci we always sell in premium and we buy in uh, the discount so considering this setup of uh, fibonacci this is going to be my premium zone 
okay and then this is going to be my discount zone so um i guess guys have highlighted you on how to do a uh, top down analysis now if i'm to extend on a smaller time frame like 15 minutes time frame where I, I always take my trades i will of course now you can see here that indeed the market is moving up okay the market is indeed moving up if i'm to bring out this uh this my okay so i'll expect now this is what i'm going to expect i'm going to expect um this market to come uh touch here move down right here and then it moves down it moves up okay that's what i'm going to expect so so now that having been my setup i'm going to leave it right there and then we see how the market is going to play out now this is this is a flag pattern okay this one it is a flag pattern what does it mean a flag pattern appearing in a downward trend this that we have right here it indicates the end of the end of the uh the end of the the trend okay it indicates the end of the trend since we also see that the market is playing within the weekly and the weekly demand zone so meaning that we are probably moving up so going back to confirm something small on a daily time frame okay on a daily time frame i'm going to have my fibonacci right here and then um my fibonacci i'm going to bring it right here okay like that so i'll have my market i'll have uh my the market is already the market has already left you know the the market has already left the the the, 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 the supply zone and then we are in demand zone right here expecting to move up okay with this chart pattern that adds up to our confirmations tonight so guys thank you so much for watching um in case of any question please let me know in the comment section below and uh, also if you want to know more about how i analyze my charts uh please you can also you know inbox me so that we can so that i can help you i always do it for free okay i always do it for free because i believe that if you go out there with my knowledge uh and 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 you add on to the knowledge that you have you know and you succeed yes the blessing always gets back to me yeah so guys Thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and of course hit the like button if at all this has made you know your day thank you so much let's catch up another video yes once you hit that notification button of course you shall be notified when i upload another video thank you so much this is cgfx uganda